Hello everybody, Ryan Roxy here. As promised, I'm here to teach you a Ryan Roxy related song. You guys came back with answers. I asked the question, so I wouldn't say the overwhelming response was this song. It was definitely in the mix, and I thank you guys for picking so many different songs. But this song, Me Generation, it's off my new album, Imagine Your Reality, ended up being the winner for this week. We'll see what the next one will be, or even if it is a Ryan Roxy song, it could be a whole different band. Just depends on how we want to go with this. The whole reason I'm doing these videos and these sort of one-on-ones with you is that I want as many people playing guitar as possible. I think it's very therapeutic in today's world. So for what it's worth, I'm here for you so you can learn guitar. So shall we start with tuning our guitar? In the links that's above or below you, there should be a link to the tuning series that we put out with Play Along Music, or you can find us on our YouTube channel. That's the Play Along English YouTube channel. Either way, go to the link and tune to the whole step down tuning, which is uh, basically detuning or a whole step down. That's what this song is recorded in. And basically the knowledge you're gonna have to learn, you might not know it just yet, but if you stick with me and hang out with me for the coming weeks and months, I'm going to guide you through pretty much the basics all the way up to you know, where you're soloing and hopefully writing your own riffs and your own songs. And maybe I'm opening up for you. How about that? So uh, check this out. Uh, this song starts in the key of B, six string uh, power chords and fifth string power chords. The riff starts like this. <laughs> The chords in the opening riff are 6th string power chord B, 5th string power chord D, 5th string power chord E, down to the 6th string power chord A. And that's your opening riff. Now, moving on, because we're going to kind of do a quick version of it, because at the end, you'll have a playback version where I play along with the original track, and you'll be able to piece all these um, parts of the song together. Because it's really important to know parts of the song. What is the verse? What is the pre-chorus? What is the chorus? What is the solo? And what is the chorus out? That's a basic formula of a, of a rock song. Um, Obviously, there's many different formulations that you can go through and wait till we get into bands like Queen and their type of arrangements and stuff. So right now, this is kind of a basic straight ahead rock and roll song. Starts off with the opening riff, goes to a verse, then there's a pre-chorus. In the pre-chorus, I go down to my first position chords. So when you talk about first position chords, there's those cowboy chords. G to E. Back to A. So as you can see, this first position A is the same sound as your six string power chord A. I always say economy of your guitar neck is really important. It's another thing I'll get into as we continue on these one-on-ones. So that's the pre-chorus. G, T, G, A. And then back to the back to the main riff. After the second verse, you'll go into another pre-chorus, and then after that pre-chorus, you will hit the actual chorus. So the chorus of Me Generation is B, fifth string bar chord, C sharp, A, F sharp, B, C sharp, G, A. That's the first chorus. The second chorus is a bit more, uh, it's a bit more elongated. I will go through that after I go over the solo. The solo is in basically a B pentatonic sort of. It's sort of my ode or my tip of the hat or my tip of my beanie to uh, Ace Freely, one of my favorites. Actually, maybe this whole song is a tip to Ace Freely because I'm playing a cherry burst. So I will play a little bit of the solo for you right now, kind of slowly, but then we'll move on to the last chorus and take it on home. Here it is, the solo. <laughs> I don't know 
what facial expressions I'm making. <laughs> Let me try it one more time. Here's the solo. And do the last verse. So the last chorus out, there is a guitar overdub part, which I can play for you as well. So first I'll play the chords of the chorus, then I'll play what goes um, on top of that. Okay, so the last chorus goes like this. get that riff stuck in your head and that takes us on home to the end of the song. But that little overdub part that you'll hear in the track when we play along with it is one, two, ready, begin. <laughs> just repeats itself one more time and out on the riff and we're done. We have just learned me generation. All right, so now it is time to go through the song one-on-one. -on -one. I'll play the original track. I'll be playing along with it and hopefully you will be too. Uh, don't be afraid to use those uh, tempo meters that are on your player. If you wanna slow it down a little bit, might make things easier, but uh, you know what? You can handle it. You can handle it full speed. I believe in you. Uh, let's try it, shall we?
So real quick, that ending is... <laughs> da 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 And you can check out the video on YouTube right now and play along with it, or you can just press rewind and come back and play with me. Either way. Did you do good? I'll bet you did. One more thing, if you are watching this live, then obviously you can type in your questions at any time. And I'm basically on the chat because I've taped this and now I'm manning the chat and trying to answer as many questions about me generation as possible. But if by chance you're watching this on a rebroadcast, feel free to just message me and I will try to help you with this song because again, my goal is to help you play guitar, play more guitar, get it in your system and get you hooked. So thank you very much for watching. This has been, I don't know, has it been emotional for you? I'm just getting things together, trying to get the sounds right, trying to get the pacing right, and hopefully you've gotten something out of this, you've learned the track, and it's inspired you to play more guitar. Because at the end of the day, that's all I want, is for you to play more guitar, get it in your system, get yourself hooked. Luckily, I've been able to do it for pretty much my entire life, and now I want to sort of pass the torch on to you. And in the meantime, between practicing, I hope, you do all the normal stuff that any blogger, vlogger, and hipster would ask you to do. Just follow us on all the social media of your choice and, you know, start spreading the word, whoever you are. Take care. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the ride.